In this video, I'm going to show you a really sneaky way to create review copy for your blog. Now, let's examine this. Let's look at the problem that you have when coming up with review copy for your blog. Well, you may need to come up with review copy for an affiliate product you're promoting, but you can't afford to purchase the product yourself, especially when you're just starting out and cash flow might be a bit tight or you simply don't have time to buy the product and put it through its paces and do a thorough test. And you know, this can be a real problem because how can you make what you're going to say absolutely believable if you've never really you know, bought the product or had it in your hands if it's a physical product to see how it all works and the good and the bad points of it? Well, there is a solution. And what you do is simply rewrite reviews that real customers have done. And you want to include both positive and negative reviews to give, you know, a fairly balanced opinion. You don't want it to be sort of too hyped. You do want to include a few negative points as well. But you do, of course, want it to be mainly positive because, after all, you want people to be enthusiastic about the product and click on your affiliate link and go ahead and buy it and you get the commission. And this works best on Amazon.com because they have a lot of reviews on their site. But it can be applied to other sites and other products, but as long as it's a site where they invite customer reviews. I'm going to use Amazon for this demonstration. And so I've come to Amazon.com and I've searched for a product that has a lot of customer reviews. And the one I've chosen is this one the Kindle 6-inch glare-free touchscreen display, Wi-Fi, and includes special offers. And you can see that at the moment it's retailing for $79. And you'll also see that it has 10,168 customer reviews. So this gives me a lot to go through and a lot to choose from. So let's just click here where it says customer reviews, and we'll take a look at some of them. OK, and you can see they're showing here the most helpful positive review and the most helpful critical review. Now, you don't want to use these as source materials for your article because no matter how well you rewrite them, there's going to be some similarity. So what you want to do is you want to find a review in fact, you want to find several reviews that have been done sometime in the past because most people, when they come to sites that have reviews, they only read the first page or maybe the second page and that's it. So you want to scroll down a bit and find some reviews that have been around for a while but that people probably aren't going to read right after they've read your article. So let's look here on the positive reviews. Let's just click here. And you can scroll down to the bottom. Which is a long way down. OK, and let's go down to page four. And you want to scroll down and find several long reviews. Let's see, this is um, quite a long positive review. So what you want to then do is highlight all that. There we go. And copy and paste that into your word processing software. And you want to do this for a couple of ones here. Here's quite a long one. If I scroll down a bit further, here's quite a long one. And I do the same with that. Then you want to go back up and look for some negative reviews. Let's just go up to the top here and see all 2,136 critical reviews. And again, scroll down and... Again, let's go to page four. And you want to find a review that's 
not overly critical because after all you want to give a positive enough impression that when people read your blog post they're going to click the link and go through and buy the product but you also want to find a few you know probably one you know fairly unhappy person's review um to copy and paste let's see like this guy says i don't like the touch screen so you could include something like that in your review that you miss real buttons and the keyboard and that sort of thing or and there's another one saying touch kindle is okay by disappointing and you could put that in maybe as the penultimate paragraph in your review so you want to have something that starts out positive then you want to cover the bad points of it just so that you're not sort of hyping the whole thing and then end on a high note so again i would copy and paste this into my word processor rewrite it in my own writing style have a call to action at the end of my blog post and a link to buy the product with my affiliate link and that is a really sneaky way of doing a review without actually buying the product.